I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and today I'm doing a video about walking. Normally I just take it as read that everybody gets what walking is, of course, and, and of course everybody knows what walking is. But I thought today I would just talk about, for me, the joy of walking and the freedom that it brings you. So that's, uh, that's the aim of this video. And I'm gonna start my walk down near where I live uh, in Worthing in West Sussex. And I'm heading up more Twittons, as we call them, these, these back alleys that were once um, footpaths at the edge of fields that people just by rights had, and they still do have. And of course, when building, you can't just go building over the old footpaths, which is something that a lot of people, I think, don't appreciate in England, where I live. Um, and of course, over people overseas, like Americans, don't have that wonderful luxury of these ancient paths, which they can just have the right to walk on. And this is heading up towards the Downs. So that's where I'm going to go today, on this very cold, frosty January Sunday morning. Just a very natural freedom in walking the ability to move and the ability to go over all sorts of different terrain. I think our bodies are incredibly beautifully engineered, whether you just think that's from design or just from the uh, survival of the fittest Darwinism um, evolution. I just think that uh, we are creatures that need to move and walk about and particularly at the moment with the lockdown situation um, and I know the message of course is to stay at home and we're given uh, access to exercise and we must take that because I think in our modern society, our modern world we have very much become so much more sedentary and that can't be a good thing and so walking is, I think, very much an expression of freedom. Oh, I just had to take my scarf off. Um, it's amazing how quickly, even on a very cold and bitter morning, you can find yourself, just from walking, warm up as the, the blood starts pumping, uh, sorry, the heart starts pumping the blood round the body and actually, it uh, warms up very quickly, which is why often you see me not wearing a hat, because I do actually warm up, and although there is some escape through the head, that cools me down. So there's a number of other things that I want to get to about walking, but one of those is, even if it doesn't mean getting out into the countryside, which of course I do a lot of, the countryside is very much my domain, but even walking in the back streets, round the streets, in quiet areas. The main thing is to get out and enjoy the space and move the body. Of course, the health benefits of walking cannot be emphasized enough probably the most simplest form of exercise and the easiest to do for able-bodied people of course and yet the rewards are amazing especially for weight loss I was talking to a chap only the other day actually and he was telling me that he was 19 stone in his mid 60s and desperately needed to lose weight for his health obviously and he managed to get down to something like 13 and a half stone in two years simply by walking he changed his diet somewhat but the walking 
was the thing that managed to get it right down. I thought that was incredible. And of course, if you are doing weight loss, it's very advisable to lose the weight gradually rather than in one great lump. So, well done to him. I'm not one of those people who um, likes to wear all the modern stuff, as you probably have noticed by now. I'm, I, I much prefer the traditional clothing, proper wool. Um, I think that's, well, it's, I mean, it's a personal thing, isn't it? I like my tweed jackets and I like Mary Hammond's woolly jumpers. This year have been a, an absolute um, godsend, really, with this cold weather in the winter. Um, there are, of course, all this commercialised walking gear or the uniform, as I think of it, that we're all told that this is what you need when you do any sports. There's the uniform that goes with it. And uh, that's not for me. Obviously, people are very welcome to do whatever they like. And that is the joy. You've got to wear whatever you feel comfortable with. Another important thing, of course, is shoes. And uh, there's a whole range of different shoes and it can take a while to find the type of walking shoe or boot that suits you. Some, some can take a while to um, walk in, if you like, and, and loosen up and be comfortable, and others straight away are good. crossed the busy A27 in Worthing, which um, dissects, I suppose, the, uh, the South Downs from the town. And I'm now on a, a pathway which will take me up to the Downs, up here. It's very lovely. I do this quite a lot in those days when I'm not filming. It's one of my favourite walks, just cut across the the town and the, uh, the Victorian terraces as you've seen in this video and then slowly work my way up onto the downs and get the great views which is what I'm going to carry on doing now um, whilst the ground is frosty particularly because uh, it does get a bit churned up down this end with the mud but in conclusion on this video anyway let me just uh, reiterate getting out is good for you it's good for the soul it's one of those things that you can just leave your worries behind and as you walk you can meditate and th think about those things or you can concentrate on one very good thing um, it's absolutely brilliant for that walking to get rid of problems solving issues it doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't really matter where you go. I think for me, one of the joys is solitary walking. Walking on your own is, uh, is something I relish. And by golly, you feel good when you've done it. You think that you've achieved something, which is really the best part of it in many ways. And your body, We'll thank you for it. Anyway, that's my uh, video for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you can get yourself out on a walk, I very much recommend it. If not, then don't panic. There's always the Bald Explorer and I'll go out on the walks and you can enjoy them vicariously and I'll try to continue to bring you heritage, landscape and nature, despite the lockdown, despite the problems that we have at the moment. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow, all the usual. 
you can become a patron, support what I do, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>